Hi, this is Dar from the Dar Walden team. Thank you for joining me uh, for this video. Today we're gonna talk about 10 things you need to do to prepare for uh, the winter here. And yes, it is that time again. Um, seems like summer was so short this year. Make sure you have your snow shovels ready because you're gonna be needing them, I think. Um, we've already had an early snow, so. The other things you wanna do to make sure you're prepared for the winter is make sure your gutters are clean, your leaf guards are in, because if the gutters aren't clean in the winter, it's or in the summertime when things start to um, thaw out, you're gonna have some water back up. The, another big thing with the gutters is make sure you have your downspouts that go out to the side in the yard. Um, a lot of times people lose those, they don't stay uh, on, they come off easy and we forget to put them on. But then what happens is the water drains right down into the foundation. And that's the last thing you want. You end up with a bunch of water in your crawl space. The other thing is, is check your windows and your doors, um, caulk around them. A lot of uh, energy gets lost. A lot of cold air comes through your doors. Also on the windows, if you've got older windows and you haven't got them replaced or fixed, you can always buy that um, the saran wrap that they you can put on and it helps keep the cold air out. Maybe not the most ideal, but um, if it gets you through the winter until you can take care of those windows, it's still a good thing. Make sure that you have your heater serviced and cleaned. Make sure your filters are cleaned. Most people don't realize that gas forced air um, furnaces need to be serviced once a year. You will double the life almost of your heating system if you take care of it. Hot water baseboards usually once a year um, seems to be good for those too. The other thing is if you have a fireplace and it's actually a wood fireplace, make sure your chimney's clean um, to prevent any potential of house fire. Take your water hoses off your faucets, put your covers on your faucets if you need them, if they're the older style one. Also, if you've got any pipes, that bump up against the outside wall. Make sure you've got the insulation on those pipes because those are the ones that we typically have clients calling us and, and asking for help because they've uh, had pipe burst and issues. The other thing you can do that helps um, is seal your attic up. Most of the time the attic um, entry is up on the ceiling in a closet. You'd be surprised at how much cold air comes in through that. Just caulk that. If you need to get in there for any reason, you just can cut it back open. Um, it's not a big deal. The other thing is, and this is a big one here that people always forget, is go into your crawl spaces and check your sump pumps if you have a sump pump. What tends to happen is either if they're on a GFCI, the GFCI gets kicked out or they've got rocks in the floats in it and the, uh, the sump pump doesn't work. And in the spring, you want to make sure that that sump pump is working so you don't end up with a crawl space that looks like a swimming pool. The other uh, thing to do is if you don't have programmable thermostats, go get them. They will save you a ton of money. If you have them, make sure you change your batteries. Also, last thing, check your batteries on your smoke detectors and CO detectors. Make sure that everything's working because we tend to hunker down and close all the windows and all the circulation in our homes in the winter. If we can be of any help, um, you need contractors, whatever it might be, please feel free to give us a call at the Dar Walden team. We'd be happy to help you. You can reach me at 907-240-2804 or you can email me at dar at darwalden.com. Thank you and have a great week.